All right, guys, what up? My name is Danny, aka The Part. Nah, I'm just kidding, I'm messing with you. So, today we'll not be looking at another classic pomade, but instead we'll be looking at a more modern homebrew style pomade. And I got here with me the Iron Society Original Hold. So, I found this at a little store in Berlin, which specializes in a lot of grooming, uh, vintage men's grooming products and wet shaving products. It's a nice little store called Soul Objects, so a little shout out to them. The owner is really, really friendly. And uh, apparently, they are the only dealers of the Iron Society in the whole European Union. So without hesitation, I grabbed one of these. Even though it's really pricey, it got me, it costed me about uh, 24 euros, but I heard a lot of great stuff about this. I'm a member of the Everything Pomade group on Facebook. And I've heard all kinds of hype surrounding this particular pomade around the forum. And so I decided to pick it up and see what all the hype is about myself. So it comes in a three ounce glass jar like this, which I think is probably too little compared to other pomades for the price. But yeah, I think the glass jar partly contributes to its price. You don't really see a lot of pomades coming in glass jars like these. so. Pretty fancy. It has a very um, antique style, like a vintage looking label over here, the Iron Society, made in the USA. So, opening it up, you would find a pale yellow, very, um, not very, just kind of a waxy top layer to it. It just looks pretty waxy. And It smells kind of musky and quite sweet at the same time. I think it smells like spiced orange. Like, you know, sometimes you have um, those teas which um, serve cinnamon, um, mandarin flavored black tea or whatever. It just kind of smells like that. Like, uh, really a spiced orange, cinnamon orange kind of thing. It's kind of sweet, it's kind of musky, fruity, citrusy. It is um, just very classic. It's a very refreshing scent, in my opinion. And okay, so let's go ahead and scoop it out. So yes, you do need to um, apply some pressure to it. I'm, it's a little difficult to scoop out. I'm just pressing it with my finger. And okay, there we go. It's pretty difficult to scoop out, as you can see. And. I scooped a little too much. I, I got about this much, but it feels very waxy to scoop out. And on your hands, it just feels pretty firm. You feel like a slight oiliness to it. It's um, slightly sticky, like there's a tacky feeling. Okay, because this is sort of a waxy product, you need to melt this properly or else you'll find um, white yellow beads of wax on your hands and you don't want that to end up in your hair. Now applying it, um, you don't really feel much resistance for its waxiness, which is great. It just goes in um, really nicely, guys. I kind of like the feeling. Let me just go ahead and grab more. It is like something you feel in between waxy and oily, like waxy and greasy, but not too greasy. It's like a, little, a nice medium, I'd say, but it's more firm than Dax Needway. It's a lot more firm. I just like the feeling of it in my hair already. It just kind of, it feels pretty nourishing. Skipping in a little more. According to how it feels, I actually think this would have a pretty great slickness to it. So I'll go ahead and start styling right now.
you would feel a bit of resistance when combing, but it looks like it'll be something pretty easy to style with. But once you have it distributed around your hair, it becomes slightly more easy to style. Let me just go ahead and form a part over here. Okay, so forming a part with this pomade is really, really easy and you can get a very sharp and clean part very easily, like you can see right over here. It's also got a really nice, um, firm slickness to it. My sides are just completely um, tame with it. And I, I actually think it is a, a quality, a really great quality product by far. Alright guys, I'm done styling right over here, and let's go take a look at how my hair looks. You have a very nice and clean part over here, and you do have a well-grown, healthy-looking kind of shine as well. It doesn't look too greasy, but it's pretty shiny. You know, it's like a, a very healthy shine, which I like. And uh, this stuff really does feel like it gives my hair a good grip. Styling is actually not that bad. <clears throat> it takes me about, um, it took me about four minutes, I think, but for purposes of saving the duration of this video, I just have to speed it up. And so I'll get back to you at the end of the day to see how well it holds. Alright guys, I'm back. It has been about almost 10 hours since I first put it in my hair. And as you can see, the shine is exactly the same as how it was when I first put it in my hair. You have a very pleasant looking healthy shine right there. But it's hold, for the most part, it held up generally okay. My sides, even without recombing, are still the same as it was. It, it's pretty slick down nicely in front of my contour. I lost a little bit of height in there, but nothing too drastic. I expect things to slightly improve during buildup. For its scent, you can't smell it anymore in the end of the day. When you first put it in, it's very subtle. You get like a slight hint of it, but after a while, the smell just fades. So, um, I'm gonna be right back in a couple of days and show how the buildup went. Alright everyone, so I've been using Iron Society for about three days in a row now, and man, let me just tell you, its buildup is really amazing. Just take a look at my hair. There is not even a single hair that is out of place, and it has been like this for the whole day. And I still have that really lovely, slightly higher than medium shine going on. And its slickness and tightness is just one of the best aspects about this pomade and gets even more slicker throughout the buildup. And you have a slightly weighted sensation in your hair. You have that sensation of weight right over there, but it's not too heavy. It actually feels pretty um, healthy at the same time. It's a really clean feeling. I just can't really describe it. Like it's a slightly weighty feeling. Like you, have a, you feel something in your hair, but then you kind of don't mind it at all because it just feels pretty refreshing at the same time. And about its scent, again, it's a very subtle scent, so when you first put it in your hair, like even in the jar itself, it is, it is not very powerful, but it smells really good. And when you put it in your hair, the smell just kind of fades. Initially, you kind of do smell it a little bit, but it's a very faint smell and throughout the day, like the middle of the day and the end of the day. You don't really notice the scent anymore, even on build up, it's still exactly the same like this. So, my final verdict on this. It is a really amazing, high quality product, and I recommend everybody to use this, beginner or not. And every collector should have this in its arsenal. This is like the third homebrew product I've tried, and the second homebrew product I've made a video on. And it is by far my favorite homebrew. I mean, it's got 
really, really wonderful slickness, amazing buildup, a decent shine, and a nice hold to it, great scent. What is not to love? The only thing I have to um, complain about this, other than its price, is that I think there is too little product in one jar. I mean, come on, I paid 24 euros for what, three ounces? Other pomades of its price and quality, like Lockhart's products, for example, have about, I, as far as I can remember, at least four ounces or something, but I don't exactly remember, but there is definitely more than three ounces in one jar, one tin. So, other than its price, which is actually pretty understandable, it, it's price for its quality. The only thing I have to complain about is just the amount of product in one tin, one jar, I mean. But everything else is just absolutely wonderful. It is one of the best pomades I've ever tried in my life. So, tell me next review.